The difference quotient is very commonly used in calculus, and there's two ways to, at least two general ways of talking about it. There are actually several ways, um, but the, the most two uh, most commonly used ways um, are here, f of x plus h minus f of x over h, and f of x minus f of a over x minus a. So let's look at what these actually mean. We'll start with the h version. So I'm just going to draw an arbitrary function here. Uh, maybe it comes up like this and goes up like so. Okay, we'll call this f of x. The deal is we want to pick some point x, totally arbitrary, and then we want to move off of that point some distance h. Right, so I'm just going to just hang, move off of x some distance h. What that gives us is a new point, which is, of course, f, x plus h. Okay, so that's where this crazy x plus h business comes from. We start with some x, we add h to it, and then we have x plus h. Now, what the difference quotient is, it's a really fancy way of just talking about the slope between two points. So I'm going to go up to the function from both these points, uh, both these x values. That gives us points on the function. And when we connect those two points, we get a line. And we want to talk about the slope of that line. That's all the difference quotient is. The difference quotient is just the slope of a line connecting two points. The important thing here is that it's the slope. Okay, so we know how to take a slope. It's the same slope that we learned in you know, algebra one or whatever. It's rise over one, uh, rise, rise over run. So we'll do y, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's all it is, right? Well, we need to get our y values here, so let's follow those x values up and get some y values. So here, if I, when I start with x plus h, if I follow that up, in the function I have f of x plus h. And if I follow x up to the function here, I have f of x. So there's two y values, so I'm just going to plug those in for my y's. We have f of x plus h, that's my y2 minus y1, which is f of x, all over x2, which is x plus h, minus x1, which we'll just call x here. Okay, and then of course the x's cancel out, leaving us with the difference quotient as we know it. f of x plus h minus f of x, all over h. This is a good thing to at least know well enough to essentially be able to recall from memory. What a hard way to talk about um, the slope of a line between two points, right? All these h's and everything. The cool thing about this formula is we can easily let h go to zero. So we want to take these two points and move them closer and closer and closer to each other until we get the instantaneous slope at a single point. Uh, that's why this formula is so useful and so important for calculus. So once we let that h go to zero, we're doing calculus. Before we let h go to zero, we're doing you know algebra or pre-calculus the only difference. Let's look at the second version of the formula. Okay, so there's our function back again by itself, and we'll pick some point x on the function. I should probably call this function just f to, to uh, reduce any confusion there. We'll just call the function f, right, and then x will be a point on the function. Um, so here's, a, here's x, and then we pick some other point off of x, a. Okay, bring it up to the function. We have f of a, right, and then when we bring x up to the function we have f of x. Here we are again, it's just rise over run, same algebraic formula, what we're going to have here is a line connecting these two points, right, here's our line, and we're interested in the slope of this line, it's always just the slope. Okay, so y2 in this case will be f of a minus y1, which will be f of x, all over a minus x. Now that doesn't quite look right, so simply factor a negative 1 out of the top and the bottom. That will give us the familiar form of the formula. f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. Again, it's just the slope of the line. Um, and in this version, to switch from algebra or precalculus, which we're doing now, to calculus, we would simply let a approach x. Um, once we do that, then we get the instantaneous slope at this single point x. We call that the derivative, by the way. 
Um, and that's, that's essentially where we're heading with this and why these formulas are so important.